Good morning, guys. We are here at the bass. It's 9 a.m. in the morning. Yesterday, we went back out at night because we wanted to see Budapest by night and I forgot my mic along the way. So anyway, we had a great sunset though in front of the parliament. We have beautiful sunsets because the sunsets over Buddha so you have to be in the pest side to see it. And then we went to dinner after that to a restaurant very close to the parliament as well where they had live music, very tasty local food and it was extremely delicious with good prices. So if you're here, you may want to check that out. So like I said, we're here in front of the bass. We're going to go in and we're going to see the rest of the things in Budapest today that we missed yesterday and I hope you enjoy it. So, let's get started. Estamos super contentos, hemos por fin entrado al balneario Echengi. No lo sé cómo se pronuncia Echengi, me parece. Bueno, con mis respetos no sé pronunciarlo. Este es el balneario más famoso y es de hecho el que sale en la película Budapest, que es super divertida. Así que ahora vamos a meternos y disfrutar de la mañana de hoy. Sí. So when you enter, what you have, you have a few options. You can get the tickets online if you want, or you can come here and buy them directly. Uh, the earlier you arrive, obviously, the better because there tends to be a long queue. The other thing is that you have a few prices, so you can either get a cabin, a changing room, your own private room, or you can get a locker. So you change in front of everybody and then, you know, you leave your things down there. Water is perfect, if you guys can hear me. Absolutely perfect. I highly recommend coming here. It's super relaxing. I yeah, love it. it After is. After walking 15 kilometers, no, 18 no, kilometers. No, 20 kilometers <laughs> yesterday. We walked 20. 20 K and this feels good. So guys, we like this place a lot. We could actually spend the entire day here if you wanted to in Budapest. They have food, you can get drinks if you want as well. Have a nice cheap day at the spa or at the pool and I've been to the baths or I've been to the spa in Andorra and they're a lot more expensive than here so if you have time I would highly highly strongly suggest to come here because it's definitely worth it and like I said there's plenty of baths all over Budapest it's not just this one but this is the most famous to the synagogue the we wanted to go in but the problem is is that it's closed due to the total crisis going on internationally until further notice so sadly we can't go in but it's one of the largest synagogues in Europe it holds over 3,000 people or can hold over 3,000 and if you look at the architecture it's more in the Moorish type style, more like Alhambra Palace in Granada in Spain. And it's absolutely beautiful. I would really like to go in. It's, a, it's very disappointing that we can't go in right now. So I guess we're going to have to come back to Budapest and revisit and see some of the things that we couldn't see this time. Questo 
caos Mi mente en paranoia Sto un po' e faccio un get out Se corri come me O corri come me Magari io e te lo sai Potremmo star soli da me Magari stanotte buttarci in spiaggia con un argile Vieni con me Cerchiamo un altro club Solo io e te Dai Oh Se ci sono cose Che We're back up at Buddha We're gonna be going into The church here in a minute It's a beautiful day again It's a little cooler than yesterday and just a quick tip, if you are going to be going around uh, Budapest, I highly and strongly suggest that you use public transit. It's very easy to get around, very easy to use it, and it's very easy to hop on and hop off the bus anywhere you go. And they come directly up here to the church as well. So you don't have to pay the extra nine euros per person or whatever down below to just drive you up here. So it's very easy to get around. This is definitely worth us coming back here to see it today. This is a beautiful church. It has a very unique style to it as well. I mean, when you enter, you'll see that everything is painted. Everything has symbols all over it. And it's a neo-Gothic, I believe, architecture to it. So it's, it has a lot of character. And when you enter, I mean, it's, it's breathtaking. I can see why so many people yesterday were lined up for the weddings, like one after another to see it. But the other thing is that here, you can also see the replica of the crown of St. Stephen, the crown jewels that they have here on display. If you want to see the original one, you have to go to the Parliament building, and there you can't take any photos or videos of it, but here you can, so at least you can see the replica. You have anything to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Si, si venís en verano, recordad de o bien os cubrís las, los hombros o si no, te van a dar esto para que te los cubras. Parece ser que es la iglesia favorita de los húngaros y lo entiendo porque es preciosa. Tiene unos colores increíbles y todo es en armonía. Es muy bonita realmente. <risa> Sorry guys, we couldn't take any videos or photos in the hospital, but it's definitely something that you should check out and go to if you come up to this part of Buda. It's located just behind the cathedral. It used to be, it's lightning and thundering right now if you can hear it. It's, we used to be a, an operational hospital during the 1940s and 50s, and it was a top secret place up until I think like 2002 and it was under the protection of the Red Cross. You have a tour, you have an hour tour and with a guide and it's a complete um, hospital equipped with all the original equipment from the 1940s and 50s with wax figures in all the places to help give you a better visualization of how the hospital ran. So it's something that I would highly suggest that you come and visit. Like I said, it's something that's a little more secretive one of the secrets when you visit Buddha. So now since we're hiding under this little balcony, I think I'm trying to protect my camera. I think that we're going to get a bite to eat at a cafe. No podíamos irnos de Budapest sin venir al New York Cafe y me estoy tomando una piña colada. Es muy caro, pero creo que vale la pena venir porque es como un museo 
en donde te puedes beber algo y es precioso, es una preciosidad. Realmente recomiendo venir al menos para tomar algo. <risa> After having a quick drink in the New York cafe, we decided to do something, something a little different because here in well, Budapest, they're a little famous. They're called ruin bars. And one of the most famous ruin bars are actually next to the synagogue that we were at earlier and I'm walking by right now. And basically, these are places that have popped up all over Budapest and either places that used to be ruins from World War II or from derelict, just derelict buildings lying around the city. And it's a very hip new thing in the city and they're very, very cool to check out. And the prices for drinks are very cheap as well. So it may be something that you want to check out. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip that we showed you around Budapest. We spent about three days here and three nights. We had a lot of fun, really enjoyed the city a lot more than I thought that we would like it. We really, really enjoyed it. And there are a lot of things that you can do in the city. So three days honestly may not be enough. You may want more like a week or even more to actually take your time to enjoy everything because distances are quite big. So before I end this video, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have up on YouTube as well as my other cooking videos. And the next stop is going to be Croatia. Oh.